I'm melting. <laughs> hey guys, it's Maddie. Hey guys, it's Maddie, and I'm really bored. Hey guys, I'm really bored. And so I decided what better to thing, uh, Hey guys, it's Maddie, and I decided that because I'm really bored, I don't have anything better to do than to review every single pen in my entire house and their quality. So, <laughs> let's get to it. So the purpose of this activity is to decide which pen is the best pen in my house so I can steal it for myself. Something you should know about my family is that my dad is an audiologist, so a ton of our pens are those you know, pens that you see in doctor's offices sticking out of the, the cup with the little, like, pebbles, but they're blue. I mean, I think this one is one. It's, um, it's a pen. How do you even review pens? This is a pen that I got from university. It doesn't write very well anymore. This is a pen that looks like it was trapped underneath our car seats. For years. Yeah, that sucks. Ooh, this is the worst one yet. <laughs> Ooh, listen to that. Ooh. Oh, that sucks. And you have these kinds of pens that the lid does that, you know? These always look like they came from a bank in the early 2000s. If a place can be judged solely on the quality of their pens, then most of these places you should never go to. That sucks, but it looks really cool. Shh. Oh, I dropped it. You know, I think a lot about how I mispronounce things a lot. Like the other day, I was thinking back on this video I made. Uh, it was... Eye makeup tutorial? Years ago. I was trying to read off what the brand of it was and the type of powder or whatever. And I didn't know what the word matte was. Like M-A-T-T-E. So I looked at it and I'm like, this is called Stay Mate. I'll link that video down below. These are my mom's favorite pens. I don't really like pens that uh, are ballpoint pens. Holy, it's a Bic. These are her favorite forever. She, we run out of them and lose them and she buys more and more and more. We just have an endless supply of these pens. So here, we always get the blue. That's this kind, that's my mom's favorite. And I don't like them. Personal prejudices. I think we did that one for her. I like this one. Just because it looks pretty. It's a Paper Mate Ink Joy. It's a little rattly though, so I'm not sure if it'll work. In fact, it won't. No pen inside. <laughs> oh look, here's another one. This is another Paper Mate Ink Joy. It looks like it's been through some hard times, but it has a pen inside. So lovely. Oh, no, it's black, surprise. <laughs> I hate deception. America First Credit Union. I wonder if we stole these pens or they gave them to us. <laughs> Women's Health Associates. Why do we have this? <laughs> oh, not only do we have one Women's Health Association pen, we have two Women's Health Association pens. Sharpies. Am I allowed to say that word? Is that like copyrighted? Look at that, look at that. Oh my gosh, how are they so bright? Last but certainly not least because it's my favorite and I saved it for the end. The Pilot G2 0 0.38 millimeter gel black ink pen. Here it is. I don't know if you know, but I want to be a writer when I finish my novel. <gasps> eight pages into my first novel with this pen by my side the whole time I went to this place I think it's called Nevermore and you go and it's like a fantasy role play thingy jigger we did it for my brother's birthday so you walk around and there are these people and they're like I'm from the elvish guild thing I'm a ranger like blah 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 you know and I met the fairies and they were just so bubbly and awesome and they were like actually you can be part of the, our fairy guild it's unofficial and they asked me what my favorite object was and i said pens and they said okay i dub the fairy of pens so now i am the fairy of pens <laughs>